Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Well, Bethesda made fools of us all. Recently, QuakeCon happened. Um, and Bethesda released Quake HD. So if I'm... I'll just do easy just to show. If I hop in here... You can see that I'm just playing a normal, like, good old Steam Quake. And the game looks real good. It works real good. I'm not sure how much of this has... Um, because I have an uninstalled Quake Spasm, so I don't know how much of this is running raw off a of Quake Spasm, or if it's just Quake that just looks this good now. But I mean, like, shit, it's Quake. Uh, yeah, just because they wanted to, Bethesda released Quake again. Um, they also released Skyrim again, but you've definitely heard me talk about that. Uh, I haven't recorded that yet, but I know that it'll go up sooner. So yeah, like... <laughs> we just have a new Quake now. Um, what's more... I didn't really talk about playing the Quake expansions. Um, I don't know if I ever really intended to do so. But now I'm really strongly considering it. I intended to go, like, straight just to Quake 2. Uh-oh. I intended to go straight to Quake 2 without playing the expansions. But as it happened, um, Bethesda, as they as they do, just released a new expansion. So now Quake has a new expansion, and so like if you look at the like fucking Quake releases, it's like Quake One ninety six, Quake One expansion ninety six. The rest of the Quake One expansions are in the nineties. Quake Two's in the nineties. Quake Three and Quake Four are in the two thousands, and then new Quake One expansion. 2021 August uh, which is a few days ago my time um, and like I feel like a doofus for playing like un hd Quake 1 now but as I said we all get fools made of us sometimes that's one of the problems with recording stuff in advance I suppose if anything is ever not current boy will you find out you know? Um, so... I'm gonna load into Scourge of Armageddon here. Oh, look at that! So I don't think these were developed by it itself. Um... Spanish is a quake. Scourge of Armageddon. This is developed by Hypnotic Software, who I have not heard of. Uh, they were founded in 96 all they did was work on quake expansions <laughs> no they didn't all they did was do quake expansions for a while in 97 they changed the name to ritual entertainment and in 2007 they were bought by mumbo jumbo um what they made was the Quake expansion, Sin, which I've heard of, um, and they used the Quake 2 engine to make it. And then using the Quake 3 engine, they made a Star Trek game. I guess. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I'm, I'm playing Quake now. Like, I'll be honest, like, it's Quake. It's more Quake, you know? It's still very brain. Um, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like that's something that we can't escape. Um, if you crack open a game's files and dig deep enough, eventually you can find a game's like specific color palette. I'll do easy just because I, I want to talk more. Ooh, fancy door animation. 
Hey, fellas. It's time to shoot and or scoot. Um... I was definitely going to say something. One moment, let my brain keep working. Uh, I like the idea of making a game. The game is great. The game works well. It has an awesome engine and it looks good. I was talking about the color palette. Uh, awesome engine and it works well and it looks good. Um, and then you form out the development of the expansions to another studio. Because, like, I feel like that's something that couldn't happen in today's day and age, you know? Pumping systems are active. But then again, not a lot of people just care about single player shooters anymore. Whoa, you're new. Hi, buddy. Well, let me dash over here and save. Oh, it's a it's a scorpion with rail guns. F9? Cool. Oh, and you get the rail gun to nail gun rather. Pardonnez moi. You get that to shoot right back at him. The what now? Laser cam with five cells. Whoa. It's a double barrel laser gun, I guess. And they ricochet. Oh no. This thing is ricocheting. But only with energy. That's really cool. What a neat game mechanic. Dude, the fucking overdrive of just like both people just blasting that fucking thing. So laser cannon, interesting. Can I walk through here? No. And normal mundane projectiles are blocked. Yeah, it even dinks. Hmm. Curious. So I don't think um, Mr. Nin came back either. Trent Reznor, as I mentioned, didn't uh, develop. Yeah, didn't develop um, the music for any game past Quake 1. And it, that appears to be consistent. Uh, I don't know who did the music for this, but I'll probably look it up between episodes. Which reminds me, how's my recording look? Game's a little quiet, but that's okay. It's a loud-ass game. Yowza. Is there health? There is health. I love just fucking going with uh, a game with high FOV. Scorpion. Reminds me of the mech scorpions from the New Vegas DLCs. Which were, of course, just based off the rad scorpions, but I digress. A rocket. Oh. And wouldn't you know it, but there is one. Hmm. 
Nice. Oh, I'm getting my quake fingers. In fact, I normally call those my doom fingers. Yeah, some of these they want you to shoot. Some of them you just kind of got to mush with your face. The gold G chard. How dare you? Okay, I guess we'll bring that back whenever we've got it. Try to make a mental note of that. Oh, and this is the staircase, huh? Pumping systems are active. I thought I fucked up the pumping system, but good. Guess not. Um, this is a good ass video game, y'all. Oh, so they do bounce. Okay, so they bounce just because they bounce. But they were ricocheting off of that thing and endangering me because there was a little, like, emancipation field. And this just leads back here, right? Okay, cool. Uh huh. The proximity gun? I see. I'm glad I saved before firing it. Oh, who's messaging me? It's my friend, Aaron. We hung out and uh, got drunk last night. Um, it's her weekend, and I'm still not, uh, like working besides this this didn't work um so worry not we aren't getting blitzered on a uh, weekday i've uh, i've gotten lost here actually am i supposed to be able to swim through something down here Youch. Oh, there's a hole here. Ah. Course. Good time for the proximity bomb, actually. Uh, before I talk more about Aaron. Let me describe what we did last night. We got drunk and we watched horror movies. We watched. We started watching something by the asylum, but it was so bad we had to stop. I think it was called 12, 12, 12. Get it, man? Because it's like 6, 6, 6, but like twice as bad. Um, I'm going to tilt this up, see if that helps. Uh, <laughs> I was made a fool of. I don't have the regular, like, grenade launcher. I'm missing that thing. Because that thing was useful. I went from back here. Wow, look at that. There we go. That's what I like to see. Um, as I record this, it's September 1st. Spoiler, peeling back the curtain a little bit. Um, which is, you know, part of why I'm doing this. Because, like, wow, a new Quake expansion came out. Boy, I gotta catch up. Gold key card.
Aha, uh -huh, okay. Got the gold key card, so we can... Wait, it's up here, right? This elevator? Sure is. Oh, and you can turn off the... <laughs> nice. So I wonder, if you can glitch through that, do you just, like, noid the level? Okay. Dorg. I'm going to load that. I can do that better. Oh, he teleports behind you. Nothing personal. Anyway, we also watched this movie called Pulse, which was my wife's suggestion. It might be more well known by its Japanese name of like Cairo, I believe. Not to be confused with the uh, capital of Egypt. Uh, which is just the Japanese word for pulse, Cairo. Uh, coincidentally, I assume. I can only wonder what the board meeting to, you know, make the Japanese language was like. Guys, what if we named it after this country you've never heard of? They've got this capital. Um, the movie is goofy as shit. Honestly, it doesn't make, like, any sense. Uh. Ah. It appears to be saying, like, bad, like, boomer shit about the use of the internet and computers and how it drives people apart as society. And it's one of those weird Japanese horror movies. Because, like, Japanese horror is often talked about for being, like, good or better than American horror. And I will say that is the case for the most part. But a lot of Japanese media just has a problem with escalation. Like, Goku fought a guy who blew up a planet one time, and it was, like, no problem for him. Well, the problem is that they already showed him blowing up a planet with no problem. So, like, if someone else has to work hard to blow up a planet, well, then he looks lame by comparison. What is that? Empathy shields? Gnarly. Wet shoot. Cool. Oh, it makes me swim a lot faster. Cool. And also, it makes sense. So does empathy shielding make people damage themselves when they try to shoot me? Because that'd be pretty bad. Um, yeah, like, just, just for, like, a, a real easy, like, gimme example. Dragon Ball Z, like, Goku fights a guy who blows up a planet, no problem, you know? Well, what the fuck is he gonna do next season? So next season, Goku fights a guy who can blow up, like, multiple planets, no problem. And that's, and that's where the escalation goes. And now we get to the point where, like, like, initially, like, you show a guy blowing up a planet and it's, like, hard work for him, but you're like, oh, shit, he still blew up a planet, though. Um, and then you guys show, you, you have a guy blowing up a planet, like, but it's really easy for him. And then you have one of the, like, gods of destruction blowing up a planet accidentally and then you got to figure out how to escalate from there so you have a guy blown up like a sun and it's not an effort for him and then you have a guy blown up like 
a solar system. Then you have a guy blowing up a galaxy. And now we've gotten to the point where, like, they might actually blow up a universe just through fighting. And, like, the destruction of, the, of universes is, like, the plot currently in Dragon Ball Z. Oh, right, it's this thing. Doi. Uh, and now, like, the big super boss guy can blow up a multiverse. And it's like, that's, that's all that they can do now for power. Because, like, back in the day, not even my day, just a long fucking time ago. Whoops. But, like, just a while ago, like, not my day, just a really long time ago. Dragon Ball Z was a martial arts series. Old key card required. Oh, these keys keep spinning. I should have figured. They look like ice cream sandwiches, kind of. I'll, I'll dip over here and take a peek. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've been there. And then they're still scooting here. Yeah, that's all Dragon Ball can think to do to show a bigger villain. Star Wars is an American property, of course, but it's very Japanese, as evidenced by the also recent Star Wars anime that's coming out. And holy shit, I'm so excited for the Star Wars anime. I don't like Star Wars, but I might like the anime. Strictly speaking, I have talked about Star Wars a lot in the past, and part of that is because it's a real watershed for American media. Nothing else has ever stolen from anything like Star Wars stole. But George Lucas used to be a pretty smart guy about things. I, w I wouldn't agree with anyone who says that he is now. But he used to have, like, a pretty intelligent, if simple, way of, of looking at media and stories. And it's why Luke's, like, plotline is, like, kind of dull. But it works. What is this thing? Oh, that's the super nail gun, I guess. It doesn't look quite like how I remember. Proximity gun. Oh, I heard a beep. But yeah, Star Wars is the same kind of problem. Darth Vader blows up a planet. Where do you go from there? Uh, what about a guy blowing up multiple planets and he's like the new Darth Vader? Brilliant, you know? Anyway, that's the escalation problem that I describe. And that's all over the place with Japanese media. Gurren Lagann, you know, they were pretty smart about it, I would say. They they get that all out in one season, and they're good, you know? There doesn't need to be another season of Gurren Lagann, because the one that there is is perfect and will remain so. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, this way. Um... Anyway, back on topic to Cairo. Um, in some Japanese media, they have the escalation of things, even though they don't exactly like need to need to have it. Um, just for an example off the top of my head, in The Grudge, or Juon, I believe, um, there's a cycle of revenge going on. You know, somebody gets killed in a really gory and bad way. And they become a ghost. And then... That ghost 
vengeful as they are, haunts an area. And eventually it's likely they'll kill someone else. Anyway, um, sorry. <laughs> I paused to text my wife uh, and forgot what I was talking about. Uh, pretty sure we were talking about Cairo, though. So, like, in Japanese horror, they have, like, an escalation thing. And sometimes this leads to... Things like, um... Super Nyan. Okay, yeah. I don't remember looking that way, but that's okay. Uh, sometimes this leads to, damn it, kind of losing the actual fear side of things. So, for example, in Joe and the Grudge, there's a cycle of revenge. Uh, and this actually ends up leading to ghosts killing everyone in Japan and like a ghost apocalypse where like there aren't any more people which is kind of silly if you ask me it's kind of interesting this reminds me of Black Mesa well the setting of Black Mesa which is to say Black Mesa or if you prefer the original fucking Half-Life uh, which I played earlier this year you should watch. It's a LP I'm really proud of. I did it with my wife. It was a lot of fun. She's never seen Half-Life before. Uh, shameless self-plug aside. Uh, but yeah, so, like, the escalation of Cairo means that, like, the world fucking ends <laughs> because of a ghost apocalypse. Like relatively quickly the movie's about isolation and stuff but part of the theming is like the isolation of how people on computers get isolated like can you imagine it was made in the uh late 90s early 2000s by the way and like just the goal of someone who's like it's because you always on that phone that's why the world ended you know there, there's my old friend. My guiding moonlight. Yeah. You love to see it. Alright, now where the hey am I going? I think this wraps around to like kind of the beginning. Not even kind of. This is the beginning. That only allows me access through the silver key card. Oh! The main mine shaft is open. Well, cool. Is that the thing that said access denied, or...? Because key card doors and usually stay to key card doors. Yep, sure is. Oh man, we on a rail now, boys. <laughs> I don't know if that does anything, but it certainly amuses me. Kind of what? I've been j what now? <laughs> I've been jonesed. All right, I, I'm I'm seeing the path. I'm seeing the path now. Ooh, don't not fire that thing. 
that fucking proximity gun is such a liability. I wish I could take it out of my fucking rotation. Like, for how much movement I have to do, having to worry about my own shells is a thing I certainly do not like. Whereas with this boy, you, know, you can get some stuff done with this fella. I just wanted to peek down there. Don't mind me. Whoops. So I think, um, I think the idea of just having a whole bunch of different people build your levels is pretty smart and cool. Um, because like people were making a ton of quake maps anyway, you know, just like with doom, you know, people were making doom wads. Um, and for the levels uh, contained in Final Doom, I think it's called Final Doom, the ultimate levels or something. Or the ultimate, Do what is it called? It's something, I bet. Do a save you there. So Jonesed, what does that even mean? Ah, there was a rock. You bastards. I'm going to have to my, mash my little Leon keys to make sure that I can outrun this big-ass rock. Oh, it's a piece of funny. They're really liking those things. Yeah, that's how it works, guys. That's how cavens work. Every little rock waits its turn. I know that it's definitely a um a man a matter of the game. Cause like the game definitely cannot handle this much shenanigans going on at one time. So everything does have to go in sequence, but it does look a little shitty, but that's okay. Okay, so you can run that type rope if you need. Oh, you're back. One thing I will say about Quake, um, I'm a little disappointed by its like use of Elder Gods. Though maybe it's just one of those things that happens when you use Elder Gods in a non-horror setting, you know? You know, it's a well-known fact that lava is just sitting, like, right below the surface of the earth. It's like skin on pudding, you know? Don't scrape through the- don't scrape through that dirt. You're gonna find some lava. Chova key card. Nice. Is that the water level? Oh, it might actually be. Ooh, this is a fast one. I like that. Uh, but yeah, like, people will be making Quake, Quake maps for a while, of course. So it just makes sense for you to just pick the best ones and canonize them. That's something I've always wanted to do. Because, uh, obviously, I talk about game development in a very, like, pragmatic and honest sense in almost all of my LPs. Uh, and what's more, I very, very often... <laughs> they got a rock tumbler. That's great. I love that. Clever. Noise. Good secret, guys. Very simple, very easy to understand. Pretty neat. Something tells me that, yep, one of these. Okay, 
Okay, save here. Do a savey. So what's the deal with you, huh? Oh, he just bonks me a little bit. That's okay. Exit. Nice. Um, yeah, people are going to be making maps for a shooter like... <laughs> Funny. For a shooter like this. Like, just because people like doing that. They'll keep doing it, you know? We'll do that shit for free. And so, like, you may as well design one, you know? And, like, so, one of the things is that it's almost my passion to code a really good, like, modular game engine. So, have a key card. Path down. Straight path. Thunderbolt. Nice. Someone designed this thing as, like, if HP Lovecraft had designed a gun and, like, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> I don't think HP Lovecraft knows what a firearm is. That man was afraid of everything. Silver key card. Nice. Squad damage. But yeah, I have no idea how to code, but I would really love to code, like, just a really solid modular game engine. Because, like, I was just reading earlier about how Quake works. And, like, the Quake engines have been used in so many other games. Like, Half-Life, Sin, that Star Trek game that I mentioned that uh, this company made. Like, I don't like Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> I didn't actually need to say forever there. Don't mind me. I don't like Duke Nukem, like, in general. It's okay. It's just like, as they go, not my favorite of the, the boomer shooters. Oh, okay. We've had this one. Um, but yeah, as they go, Duke is not someone I like betting on. Uh, although I do admit that the engine used in Duke Nukem is really solid. And so, like, that engine that's used in that game became, like, used in, like, so many other FPSs. That's not right, sir. Dogs do not fly. Yeah, it's, it's just called the build engine. And so, like, it was used, like, for example, for blood, which I actually do intend to play. And some people have made games, like, in the modern era, like, recently, that use the build engine, I think. Uh, I'm definitely lost. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go up again. Thank you. Where does this go? It goes to these rooms, which leads to out here. And that's the entrance. Okay. Well, I'm going to check. That sky is kind of cool looking. I like that. But yeah. Um, so I, brought, I started this earlier and then distracted myself, uh, as is my curse. Um... But if you hack into the files and dig through this game's color palette, what this game is using for color is uh, pretty meager. Like, actually looking at this game's color is kind of dire. It is, you know often made fun of for being very 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 brown and that's the case and looking at um the engine like you can even see that it doesn't even use that much 
of any color besides tan or brown. Ooh, I'm getting lost. So give me rockets, and I've used rockets in the past to solve problems. Practical problems. So I'm going to save here, and I'm going to shoot a hole. It doesn't look as though I can look all the way down, or maybe it's just a product of my FOV being so fucking high. I'm at a loss. Maybe I go to the other areas that I hadn't been. Oh yeah, the down. Maybe this will be open now. Gold key card. Don't have that. But yeah, I've talked about this in the past. I will say so again. Uh, I am almost positive that I am. I know for a fact I'm not neurotypical. Um, and as a result, I'm almost positive that I have some form of attention disorder. Those little leeches are back. I hate those guys. Um, which could mean that games like this really, really screw with my brain sometimes. Um... Personally, I would tell the developers to take it as a compliment. Really good, really, like, 3D maps. Because, like, this is a fucking 3D map. You know what I mean? Because, like, Doom, and Doom will still confuse me. Don't you worry your head. Hey, that's something. I've changed color. Oh, great. Just a secret. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But yeah, like really solid 3D levels like this where they have a lot of verticality. And I've talked about how um, Doom doesn't actually have real verticality. It just fakes it. And it's very smart about how it fakes it. Um, it was something I talked about in my marathon LP, which I did like almost a year ago now. Where like marathon has a great deal of cool stuff going on uh but one of the biggest ones that i could think of was that it has a fully 3d environment all right i found my problem all right uh something kind of amused me uh when you go to the wiki to look up quake stuff it does not tell you about this quake it they only have articles about walkthroughs for the first few games i can only assume because that's like the real quake i guess and like they have articles on every uh acid of course but yeah they have articles for every like level in all the expansions too they just don't have any guides for these. I'm going to go back down because I'm curious about this. Oh yeah, also in harder modes, uh, you have a fucking Shambla down here. Our old friend. Not to mention a shitload more uh, Scorpions. Man, nothing like your good old teleport and keycard squad. 
I've commented on this, but like monsters just have to know, you know? Like if you've got a fucking important item you just picked up, you better goddamn believe that right afterwards there will be some things teleporting behind you. I realized that I had hadn't actually opened up a new area besides that one thing. I was like, oh, that's weird. And then, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Um, so I, I, I referred back to the video walkthrough, which is someone's like six-year-old LP. And I just didn't look behind me. And if you're standing too far away, you actually can't see down this hole. But whatever, that's probably on me. Luckily, I killed those fish already. But there's the chi chart. Yep. <laughs> I recently started playing um, Fallout 4 again. Uh, I had to relaunch it, huh? Good old Bethesda games. I recently started playing Fallout 4, and for whatever reason, um, it doesn't run full screen on my laptop. Like, this is a new laptop when I got it, which was 2010. Nope, 2012. What the fuck is wrong with me? It was 2020. I don't know why I said two wrong numbers one after another like that. Well, I know why, but I don't have a good reason for it. Because my brain machine broke. Now, where was the gold key door? Good old Bug Thesda. I shouldn't talk shit. I'm playing one. <laughs> Does she know? Does she know that I'm recording and making fun of her playing a Elder Scroll? Only losers play that. Only losers do 40 episode LPs of the Elder Scrolls. Anywho. Hey, don't I go down? I'm so lost. In general, always. Is anyone counting? I think that's five. Here we go. I just got turned around. Yowzas. Thank good I thank goodness I saved. Luckily lightning works on the honor system, so if you wait your turn, it can't shock you. Woohoo. The hell is this thing? It's like a weird turbine. Turbine. Are we kind of up on a boss? I wasn't intending to make this an hour. Um, I was trying to make it uh, like 30 minutes. And then I got stuck here. I got stuck here and I checked the wiki. Uh, and I was like, oh, it's the last one. Well, deep within the bowels of the research facility, you discover the passage that the followers of Quake have used to enter our world. Bastards used some type of gigantic teleporter. That sounds familiar to overload one of our own slipgates. Uh, as long as this portal exists, Earth will never be safe from Quake's cruel minions. Oh, Lawsy, help me. If you can find the source of portals 
power of the portal's power, you can shut it down, possibly forever. With only a moment's consideration for your own safety. Id, boys, was it really this hard to make the text scroll faster? You re-enter the dark domain knowing hell would be a better fate than experiencing the reign of Quake. All right, cool. Um, I guess that's the episode, everyone. Thanks for coming. Quake's back. Um, shorter break than I really thought it would be. Uh, but I really didn't expect to do all of these. So here we are. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Quake. Specifically, Quake. Uh, Quake's first expansion, Scourge of Armageddon. Uh, and we did episode one, Fortress of the Dead. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.